We've gotten our hands on some new leaked information from the Pipeline Discord channel regarding this year end and it's looking promising but these are leaks make sure you take this with a grain not even a grain an entire bucket of salt because some of this may be true and some of this may be untrue all right so let's just get straight into the news the very first thing that they have mentioned here is some notes pertaining to the plan for 2023 year end and 2024 going forward it says some new leak information about cig's plans for the end of this year going into 2024 according to the sources familiar with the plans it says following yesterday's preliminary testing of the replication layer split the intention is to test the connection of stanton and pyro via jump gate before the end of december on the tech preview channel it is unclear whether the server meshing would be needed for this test while logic suggests that Static server meshing will require any sort of jump gate. The technology was not mentioned in the plans. Successful deployment of both the replication layer split as well as the jump gate to the tech preview channel would pave the way for Pyro to release as well as both static and dynamic server meshing next year. Man, this is really exciting. Honestly, if any of this is true, this is really exciting. From what I heard, um, the uh, EVO patch that happened yesterday was actually a success. It was um, the the tested replication layer where uh, a 30k did occur. And um, what happened was it took a bit. It took like about 10 minutes for the servers to recover. But everybody's frame rate drops when a 30k happens and you get a message for them to wait and once they wait after i think about 30 about 10 minutes it recovers and and they're switched over to another server so the tech of replication layer split did work and it's looking promising and it's very exciting because the very next step will be static server meshing after this one so the fact that cig um if it's true that cig is pushing to have this tech uh this in the tech preview channel for um having a jump gate between Stanton and Pyro is going to be awesome. It's going to have, it's going to give us something to do throughout while we wait until the full implementation of static or um, dynamic server version in the live server. So it's very exciting. So um, it goes out further saying that furthermore, focus is currently being put on bringing Squadron 42 features that, that teams have been developing back to the persistent universe. This is reportedly a top priority. Tremendous progress has been already made and they want to continue boosting the process in the rest of the year and beyond. Work will continue in the new year until they implement everything from Squadron 42 with the goal of a Q1 patch containing as many Squadron 42 features as possible. Man, this is huge news. I'm really excited for next year. Honestly, 2024 is going to be a big year for Star Citizen. It's going to be game changing. Um, even with the map, I hope I hope one of the biggest features that they drop in Q1 um, will be the star map and the UI update is going to be really good. It's it's one of the most sought out features that the community is looking for, including myself. Okay, so um, what they have here is a TLDR here is uh, 3.22 end of year patch is going to be a quality of life patch, tech preview channel before end of year with pyro and stanton connection and replication layer split and q4 is going to be the first patch with heavily affected by development changes so man really excited stuff um i can't wait you guys let me know in the comments your thoughts on this just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below make sure to leave a like subscribe I'll catch you on the next video.